Let's get into more details about the ISO 45001 certification. The 45001 standard is a document of about 40 pages structured in 10 chapters called clauses. The ISO decided to make every new version of management system standards structured in the same way, made of 10 clauses. So for example, the 14001 standard, which is about environment protection, is structured in the same 10 clauses. The same applies to the 9001 standard, which is about quality management. This choice was made in order to make it easy for companies to have a so-called integrated system. This means that a company can choose to have a single system that manages quality, health, and environment matters. Now we can start to understand what does being certified according to ISO 45001 mean. It means that companies decided that a common ground about occupational health and safety was really needed. A company that works in safe conditions usually prefers to have providers that have the same attention to safe working conditions. This could happen for many reasons. First and foremost, for ethical reasons. But also because choosing a provider that works in safer conditions is less risky. Providers that don't value safety could suddenly stop providing their service because of an accident. Or maybe they could even damage the workers of my company because of their unsafe practices. So you may start to see how safe working conditions are strictly related to the concept of business continuity. You want to work safely because you want your company to keep working, and your clients may as well think the same. Now that you know of standards, you may start to understand how a safety standard works. Let's think of the relationship between your company and your clients. If your clients want to be sure that your company works in safe conditions, they may require you to have the 45001 standard. Of course, they may also want to check on you through what we will call audits, but the first step would always be to ask you if you are certified according to a safety standard. In this slide, we simplified this concept through a comic. Your client asks you, how do you manage OHS? Your company has a simple answer to that. I'm ISO 45001 compliant. Just by being certified, your client can be assured that you manage OHS properly. The same could be said for another key relationship, the one between your company and your providers. The fastest way you check if your providers are compliant is asking them if they are ISO 45001 certified or not. Also, in this example, we could say that having the 45001 standard is just the first step. You can decide that it is enough or you may decide that you prefer to check more deeply through audits. Let's not forget the example we made at the beginning of the course. Having a standard certificate is like having a music certificate. If you want to play in an orchestra, you can't just show your music certificate. They probably would like to hear you play your instrument. So, we could make the same comic in this slide too. Your company asks its providers, how do you manage OHS? Your providers have a simple answer to that. I'm ISO 45001 compliant. 